Welcome back. It is time for the Oh Wow Moment, brought to you by the Gloria and Roger Jones Children's Center for Science and Technology. And today, we've got a special guest with us in the Oh Wow Moment, and she's Miss Solomon, but of course you know Mr. Ralph. And we've got the place a little decorated here. Now, Mr. Ralph, before we go into the Oh Wow Moment, Miss Solomon is here for a special reason. Tell me why you're here, Miss Solomon. Well, I'm here to promote the Warren Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, we have a concert this afternoon that starts at 3 o'clock at the... Uh, uh, <laughs> at, the <laughs> at, at the where? At the Christ Episcopal Church. Okay. It's in Warren on mm -hmm. Atlantic Street. Mm -hmm. And it does start at 3 o'clock. And especially this particular concert will be the chance for us to show the winners of the Children's Art in Music Contest which wow. we sponsor every year for the last eight years. This is our eighth year. Wow. We invite 60 schools from Trumbull County to participate. 60? 60. And we ask for grades three through eight to submit drawings that will illustrate the children's interpretation of, in this particular case, five pieces of music. Mm. Our conductor, Susan Deveni Weiner, has chosen five pieces from the program that she has condensed into five excerpts that we have put on a CD mm -hmm. that we've distributed to all of these schools along with an insert in the uh, CD package with expanded information which describes the music. Mm. These are a little bit of information about each piece of music that the children are read uh, or rather it's explained to the children <clears throat> describing each piece of music and then they are asked to listen to the music mm -hmm. and then interpret their choice and interpret that in the form of artwork. Wow. Then the artwork is submitted oh, to wow. us. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> the artwork is submitted to us. These two are mm. examples from last year. They're first prize winners. Wow. They, they both happen to be from the McGuffey, the McGuffey School. Oh, wow, for yeah. sure. Now, we have this year uh, chosen winners mm -hmm. from uh, eight schools mm -hmm. of the 60. And we have 18 winners, first, second, and third place. We have some that are um, um, also fourth places and we have one grand prize winner. So we give out anywhere from 18 to 20 awards. And these children, it says, are from the McGuffey School. Is that the McGuffey School in Youngstown? It's in Warren. In Warren, Ohio? In Warren. Okay. Yes, they're all in Trumbull County. Okay, all right. And That's a mask, it looks like. I mean, It what? is. It, oh it, this represented uh, a drawing or a, a piece of artwork that came from a student who was interpreting the music last year from oh. the Firebird. Oh. The Firebird was, was played last year, mm -hmm. and so is this. Mm -hmm. Now, the Firebird has different parts to the story. Story, yeah, but yeah, there, yeah. There was a very mystical and dangerous <laughs> ogre that came out of an egg, and the Firebird was a very uh, a beautiful bird that mm -hmm. was protecting the prince. But that particular student chose to illustrate that scary person. Wow. And this one showed how the egg was there. Well, we, we found these to be just delightful. I think that they're very delightful, too, right. and very colorful. Absolutely. Very interpretive. Right. These are just two examples. Now, we had 250 students participate mm -hmm. last year. This year, we have about 175. Mm -hmm. Here, so I'll have you walk over this way. You, you can imagine you, mm -hmm. that the, the choices are, are, it's a difficult job. I bet it is these. to be a judge. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. And we usually have help from people in the community that mm -hmm. help us choose. We mount them on boards. And uh, the boards end up to be about this size. Okay. And then last time, we also gave oh. out <laughs> we gave out questionnaires to the students, and we don't do this every year, but we did get back some very interesting results from our questionnaire. Well, I'll say. <laughs> and the students tell us their opinion of the concert. Some are good and some are not so good. <laughs> but, but, but they do okay. like it. They do like it, right. You never know with kids, okay? <laughs> you never know. Well, yes. you know, that's very good and how it how it 
uh, like literally taps into what Mr. Ralph has here. You know, this exactly. amplifier. Well, I'm calling it an amplifier. It's not an amplifier, but it, it tones, it, it lends into music. Is that right, Mr. Ralph? Absolutely. Absolutely. So the theremin, mm -hmm. which we have down at OWOW in InspireWorks, and we continue to keep making sure we let the viewers know to pop down into InspireWorks because they can get their hands musically enhanced and all this uh, free range of exciting energy. Those kids, by the way, gave me goosebumps mm. prior to this segment. I, I mean, it's a wonder how music can do what it can yes, do. Yes, yes. Uh, and just, and it's funny, just in the time that it takes you to wash your face, brush your teeth in the morning, five minutes, uh, by just listening to music, it enables those synapses and those dendrites in your brain to start getting Connect fired together. up. together. That's right. right. That's you become right. an out-of-the-box thinker. Indeed. And, and there's nothing wrong with being an out-of-the-box thinker. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Miss Judy talked about the symphony. And mm -hmm. Miss Judy, if I'm correct, the Four symphony. Four minutes, John says. Oh, we're good. So mm -hmm. the symphony, the seating arrangement is is particular, right. is it not? Right, a classical orchestra is composed of four or five different types of, of instruments. And one of the main types of instruments are the strings. Ah. And um, Ralph is going to demonstrate <laughs> how, how, how strings can cause vibrations right. and create all different kinds of movements. Right. Okay. Now, the orchestra is set up usually in a semicircle around the conductor. Right. The strings usually occupy the front and the violins are usually the largest number of quantity because they have a very high delicate sound or a very bright sound. Mm -hmm. uh, there are brass instruments and there are woodwinds which also have mm -hmm. a reed in there and they vibrate. Then there are percussions okay. and of course drums vibrate with a skin. There are pianos and harps and we hope to show in future possibilities how sometimes science has a great deal to do with vibrations and art and right. it affects your brain. Okay. We've, we've seen studies that, um, that show that children that learn and study music inevitably do better academically across the board. It's true. Across the board. It's so true. So we're very excited about the opportunity to play our music for any of, the, any of the children in the community. And we hope to encourage them. We also support strings. Mm -hmm. And we have been reintroducing strings into the schools. Okay. Because they have brass instruments so well, because of sports. Well, are you going to show us, Mr. Ralph? Yes, what yes, ma'am. So, we have left? so basically what I've done is I've plugged the theremin into my phone. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, if you remember a few weeks back, we did an ex experiment with somatics, yeah. which is the visual, the phenomenon of visual visualizations through sound. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, instead of using the amplifier, which we don't have anymore, Miss Madonna, oh. I'm going to actually use notes from the cello. Now, this is going to be the sound A. Okay, so we're basically, let's just pretend we're tuning the cello. And this is going to be A, okay. and it's going to create a pattern. Okay. So we're going to listen to A. A. Okay, let's, let's see what's a. going on there. Let's turn it up a little more. And if you can see, a. you can see the pattern starting to form on, on oh. what A sounded like. Now, yes. if we go to let's go D, D, all right, let's D. put some oh. salt up here. <laughs> yeah, this is always cool, huh? Oh, yeah. So D is going to sound a little bit deeper. Okay. Okay. D. So do you see the visualization? Yes. Okay. So obviously the tone where the, the, the spots that are darker uh -huh. are, are, that is where there's less tone. And let's okay. do middle C. And we're going to do C. we're getting C. ready to close out. All right. So Miss Judy, if I'm correct, C is one of the most important notes. And why it's is middle that? middle C. Because the concert master who plays a violin tunes his violin to C. C and all the instruments tune to his middle C to make sure everyone's in tune before the concert begins C. so oh, that everyone is playing at the same scale. All right. right, all right. Well, thank you so much for showing that to me and showing it to us.